Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering some important examples in regular expressions. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. This is first question. Write a Python program to remove all white spaces from a string. I will give an example. So, at first write import re and I written a equal to my name is Nagendra. Now, I want to remove all these spaces from given sentence. So, just write here b equal to re dot. So, just write here sub that is substitute. In order to remove spaces, we need to use sub function. Inside sub function, I want to remove spaces. Space mean backslash small s. So, just write here backslash small s and I want to remove multiple number of spaces where plus mean one or more times. So, just write here a plus. That means if space is present once or more than once, it will remove that spaces. So, I am replacing these spaces with nothing. That means I am removing spaces. The string is present in variable a. So, just write here a. And whenever you write here print b, you will get output. My name is Nagendra without any space. As we know, substitute function will print output in the form of string. So, you will get output in the form of string like my name is Navendra. This is program for this example. Next I will explain how to replace all spaces dot and comma with has symbol. This is my string my name is Navendra comma my age is 25 full stop. Now I want to remove the spaces and comma symbol and full stop symbol from this string. So just we need to substitute this space comma and pull stop with has symbol. So, I am using substitute function. Inside sub, I am writing, I want to remove space. So, give here space. Next, I want to remove comma and next, I want to remove pull stop. So, take space, comma and pull stop in square brackets. As I already said before, we need to take pattern in quotation marks. Now, I want to replace this space, comma and pull stop with has symbol. So, again take quotation marks, insert quotation marks, take has symbol. And this string is present in variable a, so just write here a. And whenever you write here print b, guys just remember you need to write print b, not print a. Because we are printing this result. This result is present in variable b. So, just write here print b. Whenever you write here print b, you will get output my. It will replace space with hash. Next name hash is hash Nagendra. Again, comma with hash. And next space. Space with hash. My hash h hash is hash 25. And it will replace full stop with hash symbol. So, at last it will replace Hash. Next, I will extend Python program to separate numbers from given text and displaying those numbers in separate line. This is example. At first, you need to write import re and I written a equal to my age is 25 comma my roll number is 12. What are numbers? 25 and 12 are numbers. And now I want to print only numbers and I want to print numbers in separate line. So, just write here b equal to re dot find all and we can find numbers by using slash small d. Plus mean one or more number of times where slash d mean digits from 0 to 9 that means if numbers are available once or more than once i need to print those numbers so i took here slash d plus in double quotations comma this string is present in variable a so just write here a now in order to print numbers one by one i need to use for loop so just take here for loop for x where x is variable in b because this result is present in variable b, so just write here b. Whenever you write here x in b, whatever the numbers that are present inside variable b, this x will store those numbers. And inside this for loop, write print x. Print x mean by default print function will take slash n as output. So, I will get output. At first, it will print 25 and in next line, it will print 12. This is my output. Next, I will explain python program in order to remove ovals from given text. Here, you need to use substitute function. So, I written here re dot sub, inside sub I written, so inside quotation marks I took square brackets and inside square brackets I written a e i o u, what are ovals a e i o u, directly right here a e i o u and capital a e i o u, comma, now I want to remove this, just give here quotation marks, don't use space, just open quotation marks and close quotation marks, this string is present in variable a, yes. so just write here comma a. Now, this result is present in variable b. So, whenever you write here print b, you will get output. This is my output. Next, I will explain python program in order to find words that starts with n and m. This is an example. I need to get output my name Nagendra Mai. So, write here b equal to re dot find all. I want to print words that starts with n and m. So, inside square brackets write n and m. Whenever you write here n, m in square brackets, then you will get output only 
M N N M in single quotations. But I want to print complete word. So just write here slash small w. Small w is nothing but it is combination of small a to z and capital A to z and 0 to 9. So starting must be either M or N. At this I need to print all words. So I written here slash w. So it will print all words. And next use here plus. Plus is nothing but one or more. That means even if that word repeat one or more number of times, I should get that output. For example, in this text, if you consider D, if D is repeated once or more than once, I should get that output. So I took here plus, comma, the string is present in variable A, so just write here A. This result is stored in variable B. So whenever you write here print B, you will get output starting with N or M. And I want to print complete word. So just you will get output my because starting is M. So you will get output my and starting is N. So you will get output name. Final will represent output in the form of list. So it will represent this output in square brackets and it will represent each word in quotation marks. So my name Nagendra my. So this is my output. This is Python program in order to print words that starts with n and as well as m. Next I will explain python program in order to print words that starts with na. I want to print only words that starts with na. In this what are the words that starts with na? First one is name. See name starting is na and next Nagendra. For Nagendra starting is na. I want to print only these two words that starts with na. So just in place of writing this write b equal to re dot find all. Here we need to use slash b. So just write here r that is rasting in quotation marks write slash b. Starting must be n a. So slash b n a. Slash b is used to identify starting word. And here starting word is n a. So just I written here slash b n a. I want to print complete word. So just write here slash w. Slash w is nothing but small a to z, capital A to z and 0 to 9. So starting must be n a. After that either there are small letters or capital letters or any other numbers I should get that output. So I written here slash w. And if that particular character repeats multiple number of times like n a m double e I should get output. So just write here plus. Plus is nothing but one or more. Even if alphabets or numbers repeat multiple number of times, I should get output. So I written here slash w plus. And this string is present in variable a. So just write here a. So whenever you write here print b, you will get output starting with a that is name and Nagendra. So name and Nagendra is my output. Next I will explain Python program in order to print word that starts with n a and ends with RA by using regular expression. I want to print what that starts with NA and ends with RA. In this Nagendra starts with NA and ends with RA. Now I want to print this Nagendra. So just write here B equal to RA dot find all. So just write here slash B. First two characters are NA. So write here NA. And whenever you take here slash b, definitely you need to write here r, where r stands for rasting. After that, I want to print entire word like g e n d r a. Slash w is nothing but it is combination of alphabets from capital A to Z, small a to Z, and 0 to 9. And I am writing here plus. Plus is nothing but one or more. For example, n a g e e n d r a. Here, though alphabets repeat twice, I want to print that. So I return here. Place. If characters repeat one or more times, I need to print those characters. So I written here slash w plus and last character must be ra. So just write here ra. In order to find last character, we need to use dollar sign. So write here dollar sign. Close quotations and the string is present in variable a. So just write here a. Meaning of this is I am printing word that starts with n a and ends with r a. So slash b in order to find first two characters and dollar sign in order to find last two characters. And in between n a and r a, there can be any characters. I want to print those characters. So just I written here slash w plus. This result is present in variable b. So whenever you write here print b, you will get output Nagendra. I written here find all. So it will represent output in the form of list and it will represent Nagendra in single quotations. For example, if I take here my name is Nagendra, comma, my friend is Narendra. And here for Narendra, starting two characters are NA and last two characters are RA. So it will print Narendra too. This is another example in order to find whether dollar is present in given text or not. In this text, dollar is present at last. Guys, don't write here just dollar. If you write here just dollar, then it is considered as meta character. And by using dollar sign, we can find last characters. 
so before dollar sign i did not return any character so it will display error so whenever you write here single dollar sign in quotations it is considered as meta character but i want to find dollar in this text so just use here slash and whenever you give here slash that means it will check whether dollar is available in this text or not is dollar is available here so find all function will represent output in the form of list so in list you will get output dollars for example if you want to search any special symbol then you need to use backslash symbol and this thing is present in variable a so definitely for each and every example you need to write here a because my string is present in variable a this is how we find special symbols in given text this is another example write python program to print rule numbers in text file for example there is one text file the text file name is file.txt and this text file contains information 12 raju 13 Shiva and 15 Nagendra where this 12, 13, 15 are rule numbers. Now I want to print only rule numbers by using regular expression. So just right here at first we need to import regular expression so right here import re so open file in read mode so right here open by using open function we can open file this file name is file.txt so inside double quotations write file.txt comma I want to read this file so open this file in read mode after that i am writing for x in a so whenever you write for x in a where x is variable this variable a contains file.txt so whatever the data that is present inside this file.txt this data is stored in variable x now this variable x contains this information now I want to print only rule numbers. So just write here. All these are available at first. By using match function, we can find first characters. So I written here re dot match. Open bracket. I want to print number 12, 13, and 15. These are rule numbers. And this is in the form of numbers. So just write here double quotations write slash d. Where d is nothing but digits. It will print numbers from 0 to 9. So I written here slash d. How many numbers it contains? 1, 2. And here also 1, 2 and here also 1, 2. So give here size and size of digits is 2. Guys, don't write here A, write here X because whatever the data that is present inside this text file, whenever I write here for X in A, this data is stored in variable X. So just write here X and I am storing this result in separate variable that is B. So whenever you write here print B, you will get output. Match function will represent output like this. So this is my output. Ari dot match object semicolon span 0 comma 2 that is nothing but index number this one in index number 0 and 2 in index number 1 0 comma 2 nothing but index number comma match 12 we found 12 at index number 0 comma 2 and similarly second line 0 1 so you will get output 13 and 15 i don't want to print all this just i want to print 12 13 14 1 by 1 so instead of writing print b just write here b dot group this group function will represent output like this